Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta build, we're going to be covering the Foam Cleaver Titan Sword, which has made a comeback with some brand new perk rolls. I found that the weapon can get both Tireless Blade and Incandescent on it, which got me thinking, what would happen if we combine this combo with Firebolt Grenades and Stronghold together? Well, the answer to that is your sword will be pulling off huge damage and causing ignitions with every hit landed. Plus, you can get heals and heavy ammo back by just simply playing aggressive. We are so used to using trace rifles and SMGs with incandescent on them, but we never really thought about what would happen if a sword got it. I'm happy to say you're going to love the end results of this, as I sure did. To start, you're going to want to have Soul Invictus, where solo ability final blows create sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster and super drains more slower while in it. Then you'll want to have Roaring Flames where final blows with solo abilities increase the damage of your solo abilities. With last time, we used Halifire Heart to enhance our regen rate. This time, however, we're going to be relying on just stats, mods, and fragments to achieve our goal. And luckily, Firebolt Grenades have a base duration of 1 minute 4 second cooldown rate, which at tier 4 gives us a 32 second cooldown rate. Now, add on Sunspots or additional grenade recharge mods, and like last time, you can get around a 20 second cooldown. Only downside to this is that with Hollow Fire Heart, it was a bit more instant with the users. While here, you've got to put a bit of effort into it, which at the end of the day is all worth it. Looking into the fragments, Ember of Eruption, where solar ignitions have increased area effect, Ember of Searing, where defeating Scorch targets grant midi energy and creates fire sprites, Ember of Shot, where your solar ignition spreads Scorch to other targets, and Ember of Ashes, where you apply more Scorch stacks to targets. As Firebolts have received quite a buff this season, they can ignite targets much more faster than ever before. With Flare Up providing a plus 50 to Scorch buildup, Firebolts providing a plus 20, and Ashes a plus 30, you can cause targets to ignite with just two Firebolt grenades, which is great when paired with an exotic that can get them up quickly. With Foam Cleaver, it's going to be a bit more different as Incandescent provides a plus 30 to hits applied, but with Ashes Fragment, this is pushed to plus 40. What this means is that as long as you hit a target with Firebolts to start, or even net a kill with a sword to trigger Incandescent effect onto others, it will be a guaranteed ignition as long as you then apply a grenade after. This works out a charm when playing in Legend Battlegrounds for example, and you have an unstoppable charging at you. Just landing one grenade in a group of ads, get a kill with your sword, and watch the fireworks and stuns kick in. For the mods and stats section, we're going to invest in the discipline just so that our ability is always reliable to use since we aren't using any exotic that will enhance our abilities more. We will be using Stronghold to enhance our sword capabilities and apply healing when blocking, but outside of that, that's pretty much it. You're going to want to have the following exotic along with a high resilience stat as you will be knee deep in most fights. A tier 8 to 10 is ideal as you want as much damage reduction as possible, while recovery can be at tier 6 to 7 for faster health recovery while on the go. Now as mentioned before, because of the short cooldown rate that Firebolt grenades have, it means that we can invest less or more into the stats and still benefit greatly from it without the user needing to compromise on our end. With the amount of ways to create sunspots and how easy it is to get a high stat for a discipline build, you only need to have the grenade kickstart mod to support the stat. I have tested this thoroughly just to see if this was enough for supporting the stat and truthfully it comes back pretty fast as long as we were making orbs of power. This here means that you can add on any other mods you may have in mind as the cooldown applied is pretty good from start to finish. The Ashes Assets mod for Super Regen via grenades, Solar Siphon for creating orbs of power via solar weapon kill, and the Firepower mod for creating orbs of power via grenades are good add-ons I would say is recommended to place onto the build and also for retaining strength throughout the combat. I would then invest into other key areas such as Armor Charges mod to sustain the damage side of the build such as Charged Up x2, x2 Solar Weapon Surge mods for a 17% damage boost when using solar weapons, and Time Dilation to extend the Surge mod's duration. Don't forget to add on the Heavy Ammo Finder mod as well, as this will be working alongside the Seasonal Bricks from Beyond mod for extra Heavy Ammo spam. Now lastly, the weapons being used will need to be Foam Cleaver with Incandescent on it, but your energy weapon has to be Void related, just so that Bricks from Beyond can work with the build. What you choose void wise is down to you, so don't feel pressured in needing to have the same thing I have shown. 
In our case, I have the Unforgiven SMG from the Duality Dungeon, which has Feeding Frenzy and Adrenaline Junkie. And nothing overall special with the role specifically, as I just needed a hard hitting Void SMG that could be relied upon once I'm out of heavy ammo. However, Adrenaline Junkie will provide me with a damage boost while using my grenades constantly, which is a big bonus for what I'm going to be doing. If this doesn't sound good enough to you, then you can get a role that has Demolitionist and Repulsive Brace on it, or even Frenzy. To be honest, you have a lot of wiggle room to navigate here as any void weapon of your choice can fit. So here is Burden, Fighting Lion, Doom of Chelchius, Funnel Web, etc. are viable to use here. After that, your heavy will be the Foam Cleaver with Tireless Blade and Incandescent if possible. If not, then just get a Incandescent version is all good. This is a new and an incredibly strong version that we haven't seen before and when paired with a high damage setup and scorch in mind, you can get an explosive ignition sword which feels almost exotic to use. It is a must for the build to have, along with the stronghold exotic as you'll be using this as a main weapon at hand, while your void weapon will be back up for getting heavy brick ammo back. With the power of stronghold and foam cleaver combined, you can become the ultimate solo knight titan in destiny and wreak absolute havoc on anyone near you. It's very similar to how Void Swords can apply volatile rounds to themselves. This combo is all about nuking areas from start to finish with light attacks or heavy attacks and the results are always the same, complete and utter destruction everywhere. So why should you use this off meta build you may ask? Well, while you can dish out heavy damage from your sword alone, the ability usage is pretty strong enough to be used in generally all content you like. The base loader of the build provides you the best way to use fireball grenades without the added on enhancement exotics designed for making it stronger for you. So, once you add on Heart of Amos Light and Halifire Heart, this will overall make the build even stronger when required. On top of that, it also allows users to create ignition blasts much more easier compared to what we did before, although this is only limited until the set. And lastly, the build allows users to play aggressive and be rewarded for doing so. Applying Scorch will make taking out groups much more easier in the long run when using your sword and then if you need quick healing, just block and let Stronghold take over. It's wonderful at doing this job while also being borderline crazy to use. I can't see this being too useful in endgame content like Master or GM Nightfalls or even Legend Battlegrounds to an extent, but I can still see it being used as long as you know where to apply it best. But outside of the realm of endgame, what do you think of this off-meta build? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all. I hope to see you all again soon.